This video is sponsored by Video Lancer. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a very cool and unique looking text animation inside of After Effects. I am Nick Hill from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. Are you familiar with these video transitions? Certainly you are. Nowadays, they are the most popular transitions on YouTube. Video Lancer Motion Designer, who developed them, have created more than 3,000 of such handy seamless transitions for After Effects as well as for Premiere Pro. Try them now. Free versions are available for all subscribers of Video Lancer channel. Links for downloading in the description. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'll make this 1920 into 1080. Let's make this 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. I'm going to call this title. And then select the text tool and then you can type in anything of course that you want. I'm going to type in just as the example. And again, you can go with any font that you like, make it really nice and big. And for the font, I'm going with a Suga Pro. I'll mention the link, download link into the description so you can, you know, use the same font if you want to. Let's set this to zero. And there we go. I'm going to align it into the center. If you don't see this align tab, you can go into windows and there you'll find it. So now we have our text and now let's start animating our text. So what I can do is I can go into the drop down menu and go right here into the animate. And now we can start adding properties to our text, which is very simple. So if I go into the animate option, you can see we have different number of properties to choose from. So first let's play around with the position. Now position will help us as it, as the name says to adjust the position of our text. But now we also want to make our text 3D. So now I can go into my range selector and animator one. And now you can see we have a different add on property to our animator. So I can go right over here into the property section and make the and enable the per character 3D. And then I can adjust the position however I want to adjust. So I'm going to bring that out of the frame and this is going to be our starting position. So to end the position or to place it into the position that we want, we can play around with the offset just like so, right? So I'll set this to zero for now and hold shift and drag the position unless the text is out of the frame. And then I can create a keyframe on the offset, go to around two seconds and set this to 100. So now you can see we have a pretty simple animation. To give it a bit more ease, what I can do is I can go into the advanced properties and turn the shape from square to ramp up. Now this is gonna make things a bit more smoother, but still it's not working the way we want because the offset is set to zero. Now we need to set the offset to minus 100. So now we have this very nice animation, but still it's not perfect. So what I can do is I can go into the easy low or ease low and set this to hundred. And now we have this nice and subtle text animation. Now to give it a bit more detail, what I can do is we can add more and more properties to this. So we have the animator one. What I can do is go ahead and add a property of let's say maybe a rotation. So you can also rotate this up just like that. So we will have a minor rotation as well, which looks pretty cool, but I think I'm going to keep it at around 12 degrees because I want it to be very subtle, just like that. Also, what I can do is go into the add property and add a little bit of blur to this. So I'll add a blur property. So now you can see as we are stacking up the properties, every property is getting stacked up under the range selector one. So I can give it a little bit of blur. So maybe around five pixels. So now it gives a feel of out of focus. And as it comes into the place, it's coming into focus. So it gives a, you know, fake focus or fake depth of field. 
So you can set this to 10. And now you can see we have much more depth into our scene. So it's very simple and easy to create. And one more cool thing that you can do is to make it look more complex. What I can do is I can go into the range selector, advanced properties and turn on the random order. So now we have a very unique text animation. Now, if you don't like this animation, you can play around with the random seed. So it's going to, you know, give it a different look. You can see looks very cool, but I'm going to set this to zero. And there we have it. Now, let's say I want to, you know, save it as a preset and use it on a different title or text animation. And I don't want to create this again and again. So what you can do is let's close this up. Make sure the animator one is selected, then go to animation and save animation preset. Now, in this case, you can save it to wherever that you want. So here I have created a folder which contains all of my favorite text animation preset. So I'll call this unique and save that up. So it's going to take a few seconds to save and there we have it. So now if I select any text, let's call this text animation. Let's align it into the center. I can go into my windows effects and presets, animation presets, user presets. And there we have our toko folder and we have our unique text. So I'll move the time indicator at maybe around at the very beginning, let's say, and drag it onto our text. And there we have our very nice and simple text animation. So yeah, that was a very quick and easy tutorial today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having a great holiday weekend and wish you a Merry Christmas. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.